Hi guys, I'm Jamie the Spirit Coach and I am here to give you guys a general reading. Welcome Libra. This message is going to be for you. Please keep in mind this is a general message, so it may or may not resonate for you at this time, but do feel free to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. There may be something in one of those readings for you over there. Um, feel free to hit that like button, guys. Give me a follow if you haven't already, or comment down below how the reading resonates. I love to get the feedback from you guys. We're going to look at what's in the headspace for you, Libra. What's in your heart space? What's your body trying to tell you? And what is your higher self wanting you to know overall? Okay, so we'll start by pulling some overall energies, and then we'll dive deeper with the tarot and get some clarification and a little more details. So, for Libra, Spirit, Angels, Guides, for the sign of Libra, Alright, what is going on in the headspace for Libra? Let me get one card for Libra in the headspace. And we've got Sacral Chakra. Libra, Taurus also had this energy. You might be connected to a Taurus or have Taurus in your chart. It might benefit you to watch the Taurus reading. Um, we'll pull the rest of the cards and we'll dive into the meanings. Okay, so next up we have what's in your heart space. Solitude. What's going on in the body for Libra? Libra, your cards are like popping out. I'm not even having to do anything. <laughs> and then finally... What is the higher self wanting you to know for Libra? The waiting game. Okay. All right, Libra. So in your mind, you could be thinking about, you know, the things that bring you pleasure with the sacral chakra, wanting more pleasurable experiences in your life. This is like our sexual energy, our creative energy. Um, you may be feeling like a creative block uh, or even sexually blocked um, or backed up is what I'm hearing. So there is definitely some attention being called to this, right? It's something you're thinking about, maybe questioning or wondering about. Um, in your heart space, your heart is calling you to kind of take some time to yourself. Take some time in the quiet while you're alone and almost like go within and kind of dig a little bit deeper here to see and try to understand what exactly is causing this creative block. Your body is signifying where to look here because you've got two chakra energies coming up with the sacral and the solar plexus. And both of these are lower chakras, right? So it goes from the root being at the bottom of our tail tailbone area and then it goes into our sacral, which is where our sexual organs are. And then into the solar plexus, which is at our belly button, right? In our tummies. And that's like our, that, those energies, all those lower chakras create stability, create security, um, create confidence and inner strength for, for ourselves, right? So there's a lot of attention being drawn to your lower chakras, to really finding some time to go within by yourself and sit and contemplate with things um, and let yourself dive into those areas. Maybe do some meditations for those chakras. Maybe um, wear more of these colors like oranges or yellows. Um, that can kind of help activate and move some of that energy within you. Getting some sunshine, putting your feet on the ground, getting outside, right? And then finally, the higher self is saying here, there's a waiting game that's happening. Like there's a reason that um, things aren't coming in very quickly at this time. And I think it's because you're needing to heal and clear out these areas, right? Because if something new comes in and we don't feel confident in ourselves enough to have what it is that's coming in for us, then we're tempted to sabotage it, right? 
patterns sometimes affect us to the point where we do sabotage something good for us, right? So there's healing that's needing to take place before this can come in. I feel like this person too is also observing themselves, observing these patterns. If you look closely, there's a person standing here and there's a shadow cast over the shadow kind of overlaps all of these spirals that are going around this hourglass. So I feel like this person is just kind of observing the path that they've walked already. But also there's this beautiful tree that's starting to bloom inside of this hourglass. So it's to me that saying like there is something happening behind the scenes that you can't quite see yet. Right? There's something you don't quite see and you're in the unknown for a reason. All right, so let's dive deeper with the Tarot Libra and see what else we need to know about what's going on in the Sacral Chakra. Your headspace, you're thinking about your creativity, you're thinking about maybe the things that you desire for yourself, the things that bring you pleasure, the things that make you feel valued, you know. Goodness. Sorry, Libra. Okay, so what else can you tell us about what's going on in Libra's headspace? What else do we need to know about what's going on in their mind, spirit? The hangman, yeah. Um, kind of feeling like in limbo almost. Like feeling like um there's definitely a perspective shift that's needing to take place. When the hangman intentionally hangs himself upside down, right? In order to stop his current thought process and completely switch it up and change it, right? To see something from a whole different view. Um, I was saying I felt like there might be like a creative block going on and, you know, this is a still, you're like at a standstill with the hangman here. There's something that's keeping you still, almost feeling stuck maybe. So what is this solitude energy that's going on in the heart space? What else do we need to know about their heart space spirit for Libra? Four of Pentacles reversed. Usually in the upright, this is indicating that you're clinging on tightly to something, but this with it in the reverse, this could almost be like overspending, um, almost like retail therapy. And, and in some cases, that's a good thing, but in other cases, it's not really a good thing. Sometimes it's just a band-aid, right? It just covers up what's actually going on underneath, or it just distracts us from having to sit and feel what we're feeling, right? Having to sit and look at something or, or contemplate something. Um, it could be where we cut things out too quickly even sometimes, right? You know? So let's see. What else can we get for what's going on in the body? What else does Libra need to know about what's going on in their body? What is their body trying to tell Libra? Queen of Wands. Yeah, your body's trying to tell you that you are capable of um, taking some sort of action. You know, this is another card of confidence. This is a fiery energy. I don't know if you have fire in your chart anywhere, Libra. But both of these are, rep the element of fire is represented in both of these cards. So it's asking you, your body is wanting you to be more active, to be create more movement even um, in this solitude maybe. You know, there might be some things that are coming up and you just need to move. You need to do something. I don't know, go for a walk or uh, do some stretches or do some dancing or something like that. But there's some type of movement I, I feel like is, is wanting to come from you. Also, your body is wanting you to feel much more proud of yourself, much more confident in your abilities, right? What else do we need to know about from the higher self for Libra? What is their higher self wanting them to know? 
Ace of Swords. There is some clarity coming in. There, There's like a... Um, I, and I feel like it's going to come in kind of quickly. You think it's going to take a while to happen, maybe. You're thinking it's going to be, you know, you're going to be stuck in this dull, flat energy when really things are actually getting ready to start moving. You know, I again, your body is wanting you to start creating some sort of movement here with all this fiery energy. What else can we know about what's going on in their headspace with this hanging man? What else can you tell us, Spirit, regarding their headspace? Seven of Swords reversed. So I feel like it's important for you to make sure that you're not um, self-sabotaging during this time. Seven of Swords is like deceitful, envious type of energy. So it could be, you know, you're deceiving yourself about something um again another need for a perspective shift there's something deep maybe you're suppressing some energy suppressing some emotions or suppressing i don't know there's just something that you haven't quite like let yourself see differently all right now let's see what else can we know about what's going on in the heart space for Libra? Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, and this is air energy. All these swords. The only one that's not, you know, you only have three sword cards. But the only one that's not reversed is the Ace of Swords. And that's coming from your higher self. But over here, in your mind and in your heart, it's like you're out of balance, Libra. Your energy is coming out um, out of balance. Page of Swords, this is like immature energy too. You know, this is, this is, you know, doing things before thinking about them. It's, you know, it's like kind of immature energy. It could be, you know, again, you could be being dishonest with yourself. Talking about doing things, but not actually taking that action. And that could be where that energetic, that block is stemming from. You know, you're feeling kind of blocked creatively. And that's that's what's holding you. That's what's keeping you stuck. So, you know, I think it's important for you to just try to start taking one baby step at a time. You know, one step at a time. One thing, do one thing a day, right? What else can we get for what's going on in their body for Libra spirit? What is going on in the body for Libra? Okay, so we got eight of wands. These other two came out upside down, but we'll look at them and see. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you may be doing some retail therapy and you probably want to kind of watch your spending during this time. Also watch for burning yourself out. Like you don't want to put guilt or pressure on yourself because you're feeling this block or you don't want to force yourself to go at something and burn the candle at both ends and then you experience burnout, right? You want to do this in a, in a conscious pace you know, like a, a, a decent pace that is comfortable for you without making you feel overly pressured, you know? Eight of Wands is some type of communication that's coming in for you. Your body is is trying to let you know, like there's some type of, something's commu some communication may either be coming from you or coming towards you, you know? You did get this Ace of Swords, and if you look at how they're on the table, the Eight of Wands is coming towards this Ace of Swords. So it's like you're like going towards this and this is coming towards you, you know. But you're just doing it one step at a time, one day at a time. What else do we need to know from the higher self for Libra? Oh my gosh, Libra, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, Libra, this is an, a, an abundance of finances, you know, money, 
financial stability, prosperity, wealth. You know, this is a, a it could be a, a brand new job, a brand new opportunity, a brand new creative endeavor that will help bring money in for you. You know, this is something, it is brand spanking new. It could be a pay raise. It could be something along those lines, but it is exactly, exactly what you're needing, I feel, you know. It's what you've been waiting for. Five of Wands and King of Wands are at the bottom of the deck. It could feel like this is something that you once worked really hard for, you know, something you really did put in a lot of effort towards in the past. And maybe you came to like a halt, a standstill with something, a pause with something. And in that pause, you know, you've been in solitude, you've been in reflection, you've been trying to see and understand why something's not... Um, maybe coming in as quickly as you would like. It's been it's been a struggle. It's been difficult, you know. There's been a lot of trial and error, a lot of you know, maybe a lot of different directions that you've had to take. Okay, Libra. So, now what we're going to do is get an oracle message for you and find out what spirit would like for you to know right now. What do you need to know right now for Libra? <clears throat> what does Libra need to know right now, spirit? The age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Wow. And I was literally just saying that you know, you've put a lot of energy into something. We're going to read from the book and see what this card says. If I can find it. I don't think I've ever gotten this card. Okay, so it says, you've been training for this for lifetimes. Mystics and sages throughout the ages have predicted this period in history, and you decided to incarnate in the middle of it. There is no mistake that you are supposed to be here at this time of great change. If you ever feel unprepared or daunted by the path that is calling you, know this. You've been training for this for lifetimes. You're way more than the days that have breath that have breathed you into this life. You're also all of the lifetimes that came before. All of these experiences have polished your soul into the most magnificent expression that is your authentic self. Your soul has many faucets. Imagine a fingerprint. Your soul is a million times more intricate than that. If you put it together, all of the fingerprints of all the people that you have been you would not even get close to fathoming how much of a unique masterpiece you are. You came in with a clear soul plan. You came in with wisdom beyond your years. This is the part of you that longs to be seen. This is the part of you that is ready to step forward, that is ready to emerge. This is not the lifetime to stay hidden, but to step forth, be seen, and rise so here it gives you a little light activation that I'll I'll go over for you Libra it so I invite you to close your eyes take in a deep breath inhale hold it at the top and exhale it all out and feel free to repeat after me out loud or just in your mind. I call forth the soul gifts and soul training that I have received throughout all of my lifetimes. I am ready to embody them all now without hesitation and without fear. I have been training for this for lifetimes. Yeah, Libra, it's not your first rodeo. <laughs>
Nacho Furs Radio. Everything's happening for a reason, Libra. Even if it seems to be a little bit unknown at the moment, there is definitely blunt, a, a abundance and blessings coming in for you. So what rune message can we get for Libra? What rune message? Oh, wow. Not that many. <laughs> wow. Let's try that again. Spirit, can we just get like one or two cards that's all we need just uh one or two cards for libra here spirit what can we get angels guides what room message for libra i'll shuffle one more time that one looked like it wanted to but it didn't there there we go okay we have naldi's and it says this is what it looks like and it says, need, fate, unconscious, norn, scold, future, realization, protection, and fire. Wow. And there's all that fire energy. Okay. So, fate is determined both internally and externally. To realize your highest achievements and truths, you must burn away that which has become tethered to you. Perhaps by no will of your own, heavy shadows must be recognized, rectified, and released before your ties to the material realm are severed. So the history and lore of this rune, intimately woven into the energetic pur purpose of Skold, the Norn representing the future and who was charged with cutting the threads of fate at the end of one's life, Nathis speaks to the necessary role of fear doubt, and failure in an individual's evolution. Without mistakes, obstacles, and hardship, lessons could not be learned. In their absence, progress and realization may be stunted. The element of fire also plays a prominent role in the lore of Nathis, hearkening back to ancient fire-worshipping cults who referred to their ritual kindling as need fire, a phrase commonly associated with the tenth rune. In this way, Nathis can be seen as a light cast upon the unconscious desires of an individual, acting as internal kindling to face, accept, and assimilate the mirror of the internal terracotta, which was once hindering pos positive growth. You are not going to believe the chakras that show up in this rune. The chakras here are root, solar plexus, and crown. Wow. Element is fire. The tarot cards represented are the sun, the wheel of fortune, and death. And your invocation is, In gratitude, I ask for your ever-radiant, purifying fire to light the way to my brightest, most unencumbered future. All right, Libra, that's your rune message. This is a beautiful reading for you to really just trust that this time that you've had in contemplation, in solitude, in reflection have all been to get you back into alignment to, to take your next step forward. And once you start walking, once you start acting, once you start doing Libra, this, the path will just continue to unravel itself in front of you as you're going, right? You're, I think you're ready to come out of being in this solitude, you know, ready to take some type of confident action towards something that's going to bring financial abundance, that's going to bring clarity and, and, and feel really good for you. So that is all I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this message. Feel free to hit that like button. Give me a follow again if you haven't already. And comment down below how that reading resonated. I love getting the feedback from you guys. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to have you guys here supporting the channel. It means the world to me. And I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, Libra. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.